Hello and welcome back to 15 days of finger picking. In the previous video, we talked about technique. And then in this video, we are going to be talking about your first finger picking pattern. I'll have a small exercise at the end to demonstrate the finger picking pattern that we'll learn today. But if you want additional exercises along with the printouts, please visit my Patreon page. The link is going to be in the cards above and the description box below. We'll start with a basic arpeggio, which is notes of a chord played one after the other in ascending or descending order, or from low to high or high to low. So ascending, low, middle, high, and then descending, high, middle, low. So that is an arpeggio. Each finger is labeled. Thumb is P, index is I, and middle is M. P stands for pulgar, that's thumb, indice, index finger, medio, middle. We're going to be assigning each finger a string. My thumb is going to be assigned to the C string, index finger to the E string, and middle finger to the A string. We're going to leave out the high G for now. We're going to be talking about that in a different video, low G picking versus high G picking. We're just going to skip it for now, and we'll talk about that later in the series. I'm going to demonstrate this first pattern on open strings, so no chords at all. My thumb will pluck the C string, index finger will pluck the E string, middle the A string, and then my index finger will pluck the E string again. So it will be thumb, pointer, middle, pointer. And you see that it's going to be on eighth notes. It sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's try this as an example with other chords. So I'm going to demonstrate this on a C chord, an F chord, and a G7. Okay, so this is what it would sound like. One and two and three and four and. The wonderful thing about this finger picking pattern is that because you're avoiding this high G, if you don't have a high G or you have a low G, it, it doesn't matter because what you're doing is you're focusing on strings one, two, and three, and you're not ha having to worry about string four. You could play any chord with your chording hand, keep that finger picking eighth note rhythm going with those arpeggios, and it's going to just magically sound like this beautiful finger picking pattern. Also, if you're looking for more songs just to learn right away, I have dozens of finger picking songs tutorials. You can also find that in a playlist in the description box below. I also put that in the cards above so that you can just get started right away. I will see you tomorrow and you'll learn another basic finger picking pattern that you could use for dozens of songs. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Following FTC guidelines, this ukulele was sent to me in PR, but this video is not sponsored. There is a link to this ukulele in the description box below, but it is not affiliated. So if you're interested in this ukulele, here it is. It's in the description box below. And there's my FTC disclaimer. Have a wonderful day.